What is going on? It is Cam from Orbit FB, and this is a little vlog video of uh, us going to the Black River Six Gates event. Uh, the day that I am recording myself speaking right now is quite a bit in the future from when this actually happened. I'll put on screen when this actually happened. I can't even remember at this point. It's uh, right now. It's the end of September, 2024, and this was the event was in 2024. It wasn't like too long ago, but long enough. Um, there isn't much talking in these videos, and I'll get to why later, because it's kind of frustrating, but yeah, there's not much talking in this video. It's quite short, but I'll explain what went on, because it was a really good event. All right, Vito from Six Gates coming at you on a Saturday morning. Today is event day. Things kicking off at noon. Contests start around 1 o'clock. Uh, a couple of things today. It's going to be an awesome day. Uh, we think it's going to be really busy, so we're putting a park outside. Super sunny today. Parking is going to be tight on Danforth Avenue. There's some parking on the side streets just north of us here. You might have to walk for a few minutes or you can take transit and get off at Woodbine. So uh, we'll see you in a couple of hours. Peace. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Deuce freaking way to be a six god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, do you have no chill or something, buddy? Oh, it's chill, what's that? All right, so this is us arriving at Six Gates for the event. Essentially, it was your standard fingerboard event, but there was a competition specifically with one of the uh, Black River pros named Stolly. A lot of you are probably familiar with him. It was a competition in where the offense, so you're on offense against him to start, and you pick your own trick, and you have infinite tries to land it, but the number of tries it takes you to land it, if he lands it, in less than that number then you lose if he ties it then you pick another trick and go again and if he doesn't get it in that amount of tries then you win and you win a free pair of black river trucks 3.0 34 millimeter chrome or super silver as they call it okay all right yep just ruin it all it's fine First up in the competition, it was our good friend Chris, Chris Chaus, also known as Fingerboarding Fun on Instagram. Have his ad on screen right now, and he won, which was sick. Two tries. Okay. Nice. Congratulations to the first one. Wow, bro. Thank you. Oh. Another good friend, Jalon at Della FB. His ad's on screen right now as well. Oh yeah, I Unbelievable dude, he does 
three shove nose grind like 360 shove it nose grind in two tries and then stolly does it in one it was wild to see alive it was also pretty intimidating because i was going up like two more after <laughs> Okay, in this quick shot here, Sid turns around. You can see a lot of people. I'm just gonna point out a bunch of people. So right to left, we have Stolly right there. We have my friend Ethan. We have good Andy who uh, does knife fingerboards. We have Tobias from Black River. We have Ollie from Black River. Then we have my friend Jalan, Della FB. Then we have Joe Ao who owns Truck Loops and is also um, names too hard for you, FB. Oh. Then we have Vito, the owner of Six Gates. Then we have his daughter, Vic, who helps run the shop. Then we have Dominic, who's his son, who also works the shop, one of my best friends. And a few more good friends popping up here. We got Stefan, obviously from Orbit. My goat, Jason, or Jason from The Six. We got David, who owns Pyro Wheels, one of my good friends as well. We have Kyle, obviously from Orbit. And then you can see my hair, and you can also see that I waved at the camera just in case I got in the video there. And I did, so thank you, Sid, for this footage because I needed it badly for this video considering a bunch of it got corrupted. And we have Jamie, who's part of uh, the Pyro Pro Team. <laughs> I have to get warmed up before I go. I gotta go get these <laughs> 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 no, okay, okay. Hold on, I'm the end Yeah, you can do it on the end box if you want. You got it, Cam! Woo! Woo! Michael! Uh, like, oh, one more minute. Oh, Two. Three. Woo! Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me also point out that Stali only hit the uh, what the fuck for <laughs> me and Jalan. <laughs> I also have to point out the awkward turkey that I did with him at the end because like right when I landed the trick we got a good one and then he did it again at the end and there was a miscommunication he absolutely bashed his hand into mine it was so funny <laughs> The Black River pros that were actually there, like the Black River team people that were actually there, they were super cool. They were super nice. They gave Stefan a free deck, which he has set up right now. I'll get a picture of it on screen, the On Voyage one, super nice. The other pros there were uh, a guy named Tobias, who does a lot of their social media. And I'll just put a picture of him on screen right now. You're probably familiar with him if you follow Black River on Instagram. And also um, a guy named Ollie. He was super funny, super nice, and he had purple hair, which was pretty sick. I also want to mention that Tobias off the Black River team gave me a free pair of BRTs on top of the ones that I won, which was so cool. I couldn't believe that he was giving me something like that for free, and I was super appreciative of it. And um, yeah, we just had a long conversation about it. It was a little one-sided. I was asking him with a lot of questions because he had been working for Black River since 2003, I think he told me. And uh, I was just asking him lots of questions about like the warehouse in Germany and like how operations go over there because I'm intrigued by it. But yeah, he was super cool, super nice, and he gave me a free pair of trucks. But uh, yeah, shout out to all of them. <laughs> Then we were back at Dominic's for a barbecue after the whole long event. There was a lot of really cool people there from the Black River team. There was also Andy, who's now opening uh, a Black River location in Chicago. He's the guy who runs Knife Fingerboard, so that was pretty sick. I've met him a few times now too, but he was there. Um, obviously, everyone else from the Black River team that pulled up was also there. And just a bunch of the Six Gates locals and like our homies were there. And everyone's just, you know, playing games of skate. We have obstacles around the kitchen, just eating, chatting, just good vibes overall.
Very off loop. Here's some additional photos from that day. Also some footage that the Black River team took in Toronto as well. So the reason why there wasn't too much talking in this video is because I think I accidentally deleted some footage from this trip because I have vivid memories of like talking to the camera, especially right after I won the trucks. I remember going out onto the street and filming a little thing like, hey, like this was the competition and I just won, like here's the trucks. And I like, I fully remember it. It wasn't that long ago and I have no idea where that footage is. So this is what I have and it still captures most of it. And I'm also using footage from Sid, also known as Vicious274, I believe, on YouTube. He's a super OG. He's also super nice and cool, but I we've met a handful of times now at events. He's kind of around six gates like that. I'm using his footage right now of the competition, so you can actually see me when I beat Stolly. I beat him with a tray flip feeble in three tries, which was super good. I was actually practicing the shit out of this trick, and I have footage of me in a video that we have uploaded on the channel, Cottage Fingerboarding 2023, where I do tray flip feeble three times in a row. <laughs> Off camera, I've done it like seven or eight times in a row before. That's probably my best, so I went in with that trick and it paid off because it's a pretty hard trick, but it's one of my go-tos. I also picked up the Black River stair set that day, like the one with the yellow rail, and I have no idea where that footage is either, but I have it. <laughs> I bought it that day. So I saved the BRTs that I won at the competition all the way up until about a couple weeks ago because we behind the scenes have been making our own boards, been working really hard on it, making sure they're really, really good before we actually start kind of letting people snag them. But um, one of my first setups of our boards after they were like refined, uh, I saved the BRTs that I won for that setup to be like, we made the board, I won the trucks, and yeah, pretty sick. All right, thank you for watching this commentary vlog i guess and uh more videos on the way soon i'm sitting on so much footage as you can tell because this event is from a long time ago at this point but i got a lot of videos lined up Whee!